Hello and welcome to this video on programming instructions for the Pitco i12 and i12 Plus controller. In this video, we will cover general operation, manage your programming, two levels of service programming, factory programming, and air codes. The standard i12 controller can be identified by the square shaped 12 pin connector. The newer style i12 Plus controller comes with a 12 pin connector which is straight. On both the i12 and the i12 Plus controller, you will have two rows of keys. Five operational keys in the upper row and 12 timer keys in the bottom row. On the top row of keys, you have two power keys, a program key, a temperature key, and a timer key. If proper power is applied to the appliance, the display will show off. Press the power key to turn the unit on. The display will read system test and then will display which melt cycle the unit is running, heat, or ready. Wait for the display to show ready before beginning any cook timers. When the display is showing ready, the appliance has reached the set temperature and is ready to cook. Press the desired product key and place the product into the vat. In this example, we are using product button number one. The indicator above the product key will flash to indicate the cook timer is running. To cancel a cook timer, Press and hold the product key in which you wish to cancel the cook for until the light turns off above that key. You can adjust the length of time the product key needs to be depressed in which to cancel the timer. Learn how to make this adjustment in the More Service menu. To review current settings for Cook, Shake, Hold, and Hold pre-alarm times, press the clock key followed by the desired product key in which you would like to check. The display should now show the cook time for the product button selected and the time which the product is to be cooked. Press the clock button to view the shake time. If you are cooking a product that needs to be shaken after the product has been placed into the vat, you can set this timer to alert you when the product needs to be shaken. Factory default for this setting is zero or inactive. Press the clock key to view hold time. This is the amount of time cooked product may sit into a holding bin before a new batch is started. Factory default for this setting is zero or inactive. Press the clock key to view the hold pre-alarm time. When set, this alarm warns the operator the hold time is about to expire. Factory default for this setting is zero or inactive. Press the clock key to return to the timer menu. If you wish to review another timer, press that timer button and repeat the steps from the previous timer. If you wish to return to the cook mode, repeatedly press the program key until the display reads ready, heating, or melt. In this section, we will review multiple ways to enable a boil out procedure. Normal maintenance of a fryer requires regular tank cleaning. This process involves draining the vat of oil and filling it with water. Cleaning solution is added and the control is set to boil by one of the following methods. Before beginning, make sure all of the oil is drained from the vat and that the drain valve has been closed. To enter the boil procedure manually, fill the vat with water to the appropriate fill line on the side of the vat and turn the appliance on. Once the display reads ready, melt, or heating, Press the temperature key and then 212. If your controller is set to read Celsius, press 100. The display will then change to boil. Heat will now be applied to the vat warming the water. Heat will maintain the vat temperature at 185 degrees Fahrenheit or 85 degrees Celsius for cleaning as long as the control remains on. To exit the boil mode, turn a controller off.
Another method for boil out procedure is the built-in automatic water detection program. Just as in the manual method, make sure all oil is drained and the drain valve is fully closed. Fill the vat with water to the appropriate fill line on the side of the vat and turn the appliance on. Heat will then be applied to the vat, warming the water. This control will detect the presence of water by sensing the temperatures not rising above 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius, after 2 minutes. Once this is detected, the control sounds an alarm and the display will read press zero to boil. Heat will be disabled until the operator responds to this prompt. Pressing the zero key is a yes response to the boil. If pressed, display will show boil and heat will maintain the vat temperature at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, 85 degrees Celsius for cleaning as long as the controller remains on. Warning. Pressing any other key at the press zero to boil prompt is regarded by the control as a no response. With this response, the control will apply heat to the vat as if oil were present in the vat. With water in the vat, a rolling boil will result. This will and can cause undesirable foam over conditions and a potential steam burn hazards to operators performing cleaning operations. To exit the boil mode, turn the controller off. In this section, we will review level 1 programming options. This programming level is geared towards the store manager to set cook times and temperatures. To enter level 1 programming, when the display reads heating, melt, or ready, and there are no timers running, press the program button. If the controller has been set to use a password, enter that password and press the program button. If the password is not known, you can enter 6684 as the factory default password. While the display is showing program, press the temperature key to change the temperature set point. This temperature can be entered between 200 and 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Once set correctly, press the program key twice to return to normal operation. For each product key, the cook, shake, hold, and hold pre-alarm times can be set. Press the program key followed by the clock key. All product keys will now illuminate. Press the product key you wish to change the times for. The display will now change to show what product key you are changing, CK for cook, and the current time that the product key is set for. To change the time, simply press the proper numeric keys to adjust and press the clock key to save. You can now change each timer option in the same manner. Press the clock key after each adjustment to move to the next option. Keep in mind the value entered for shake time is the time from the end of the cook. Hold pre-alarm is the time from the end of the hold period. Once all timers have been set, the display will again illuminate all timer keys and you can select another timer to set if needed. If no other timers are in need of adjustment, press the program key repeatedly to exit to normal operation. In this section, we will cover level 2 programming for the store manager. This includes changing the display to read Fahrenheit or Celsius, password settings, beeper volume, language selection, melt cycle selection, recovery test, and setting the controller to be a full controller or just a timer only. To enter level 2 programming, the control must not be running any timers and display must read either heating, ready, or melt. Press the program button and the display should read program. If a password is required, please review the programming instructions in Store Manager Level 1. Once the display reads program, press 0. The display will now light up numbers 1 through 7. Pressing key number 1 will allow you to change the temperature display between Fahrenheit and Celsius. The default setting for this controller is Fahrenheit. Press the zero key to toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. Pressing zero while the display shows program will bring you back to the level two programming menu. Menu key number two allows you to toggle the need for a password to enter the programming for the controller. 
factory settings are not set to require a password. With the display showing the level 2 programming menu, press key number 2. Display will read set pass, new pass. Toggle between password required and no password required with the zero key. If no changes to the password are required, press the program key to save. If a password is needed, while the display reads password required, press the program key. You can now see what the current password is and or change it to a new password by pressing any four numeric keys. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. Pressing zero while the display shows program will bring you back to the level two programming menu. Menu key number three allows you to set the controller to sound a tone or a beeper and to change the volume levels of the alarms. Volume settings range between one and three with three being the loudest. Use the zero key to toggle between sound and volume settings. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. Pressing zero while the display shows program will bring you back to the level two programming menu. Key number four allows you to change language type. Factory default language is English. However, you can press the zero key to scroll through the different options of Spanish, French, German, or Holland. Press the program key while the display is showing the language you wish to have displayed in order to save. Pressing zero while the display shows program will bring you back to the level two programming menu. Menu key number five allows you to change the melt cycle requirements to match that of your shortening type. Using the zero key, you can toggle between solid shortening, no melt cycle, and liquid shortening. Factory default is liquid. It is not recommended to set the appliance to no melt unless it is for a troubleshooting purpose. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. Menu key number six is to view a recovery test. Press zero to review the last recorded recovery test. This controller maintains a record of heat up times for the appliance. A poorly running appliance will have increased recovery times. There is no selection in this menu and is just a display to review the last recovery time recorded. The first set of numbers, F65 in this case, is a factory set number and is part of the algorithm for the test. The second set of numbers, which starts with a letter L, is the amount of time in seconds the unit takes to heat from 230 degrees Fahrenheit to 280 degrees Fahrenheit. This time should be less than 180 seconds on a properly functioning appliance. This test will be performed every time the oil temperature drops below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the program key to return to the level 2 programming menu. Menu key number 7 can be used to toggle the use of this controller from a full temp and time controller to just a timer only. Press 0 to toggle between timer and control. If timer is selected, heat control outputs are disabled, leaving only the timer functions active. Do not make this selection on any solstice fryer appliances. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. This concludes the available options to change in the level 2 programming. You can now press the program button repeatedly to exit to normal operation.